Now, the Senate has described Rukana County as a crime scene embroiled in multi-billion shilling corruption through scandalous stalled projects affected by the county government of Trukana. Trukana Governor Jeremiah Lomorukai told the parliamentary watchdog inspecting the stalled projects that the financial discrepancies were affected by the leadership of his predecessor, Joshua Nock, and called for investigating agencies to unearth the alleged corruption and bring to book those culpable, said Olale reports from Lodua, Trukana County. Revelations of alleged multi-billion shillings graft orchestrated through overpricing of projects that have since told were made before the Senate Committee on County Public Accounts and Investments during an inspection exercise in Lodua Town. <laughs> The 800 million shillings office of the governor of Turkana is yet to be completed and occupied eight years after commencement of construction. The parliamentary watchdog learning from the current contractor on site that the initial cost of the project was 600 million, but was raised by an additional 200 million shillings. 800 million would probably deliver 40 boreholes. 40 classrooms and perhaps could deliver 10 level 3 hospitals. We don't have those kind of things. When we leave this place, we'll be going to see the governor's residence, which is told. Then we are going to see the speaker's residence, which is told. Then we are going to see the assembly premises, which is told. What is in it for the people of Turkana? Despite the story building lacking power connectivity, about 30 air conditioners costing millions of shillings were installed. Turkana now has new leadership and we want to encourage the governor to take control. We want to encourage the governor to be firm so that we don't seem just to be investing in things for the bosses and things for the political classes. We need to see a lot of this money going out to help the women and the youth and the people of Turkana. Next stop, the incomplete official residence of the governor still under construction. According to the Senate Committee on County Public Accounts and Investments, 200 million shillings was pumped into the project that followed with an additional 90 million. The parliamentary watchdog labeling Turkana County a crime scene embedded in massive multi-billion shillings graft through stalled projects. The stalled projects, the state of financial mismanagement that we have seen in Turkana over the last 10 years, I think we could reach the conclusion <coughs> that this is a crime scene. Turkana Governor Jeremiah Lomorukai squarely blaming the leadership of his predecessor for the alleged corruption. This thing was perpetrated by uh, the, the regime that, uh, that left uh, and many other projects in this county, including even the, gov the, the gov governor's residence. I think we need to visit to see the shape of it. It's completely not com uh, complete. And uh, this is because of, to me, it, uh, I think there was lack of leadership. Earlier this week, during examination of audit queries at the Turkana County Assembly, Governor Jeremiah Lomorukai revealed that the assumption of office of governor declared a pending bill worth 7.2 billion shillings in its handover report. However, after verification, the eligible pending bills amounted to only 2 billion. The Turkana County government is calling upon the investigative agencies to move with speed in order to bring those culpable in involved in the alleged draft to book Seth Olale Citizen TV Lodwa Town Turkana County